The narrative of the movie opens on an island. It was late at night. In their boat, a gang of fishermen was out catching fish. They noticed a meteorite suddenly speeding across the sky. It dove into the neighboring water. The fishermen made the choice to look into it. The boat's skipper speculated that it may be a signal. Maybe a ship was in trouble. That may have been from a flare gun. There could be a cry for assistance. The captain's companion proceeded to examine the location more closely. Then something emerges from the sea and draws the man toward it. When the captain arrives to have a look, he then fails to see anything there, save for the blood of his partner. He would have taken action earlier. He is also drawn into the water by something. The son of the commander is in difficulty within. Today he uses an axe to check things out outside. Then he was assaulted as well. Here the action comes to a close. The narrative then shifts to another little island and the inhabitants there. A police officer is seen. Oh, she was his name. He was drunk all the time. He is picking up a new officer today. Lisa was his name. For a few days, Lisa was sent to this island. His habit was quite entertaining. On the way, oh, she does not converse with him, though. These two arrive at the police department, where Lisa's head meets hers. He greets Lisa, though. A head claims that I will be heading out to work for a few days. I needed a police officer to stand in for me because of this. I thus believe you will manage the task successfully. Oh, she thinks to himself on the way. What kind of need did a new officer fill? I would have handled everything because I was there. But his brain had no faith in him at all. Oh, she was constantly drunk, hence. In the island's harbor, there are two fishermen visible. They were fishermen. The one of them then pulls a bizarre marine monster to shore. As his partner attempts to approach him to view him, suddenly the thing sprays him with what appears to be water. Yet there was no toxicity of any sort in that beverage that and then now felt as though he had captured a weird beast that will earn him a lot of money. That is the reason why the man took him home with him. He is brought and placed in his bathtub in order for him to survive in the water. On the other side of the ocean at the same moment, others receive dead whales. That was an extremely unusual occurrence. While she and Lisa visit the area to look into it, a doctor was already present. Somebody inspected the whale that had died. It has been dead for a very long time, he informs them. The stone crash is what left the scars on his body. This struck Oshi as being really odd, because he spent a lot of time on this island, and nothing like has ever occurred before. Oshi then approaches a male, who was doing work on a structure. He possessed a large crane equipment. He instructs the worker to go get the dead whale from the water's edge. Now, this individual does similarly. He leads his friends to the water's edge so they may pick up the dead whale. The whole populace had left. They were also working in this area. They left some of their belongings there, too. Get the essential items, he sends his colleague to the seashore. And while he waits for him, he himself is in the automobile. When his partner arrives there, there he observes several odd eggs. He returns with the goods before that. He is drawn away from the water by something. The man who was waiting in the automobile has now arrived goes to visit his friend, but nobody was present. Following then, the hotel is visible, the location of Lisa's lodging. A bar was present, which was operated by a married couple, and oh, she frequently came here to drink. There the same dude shows up who received an odd monster. He mentions that I have a monster to oh, she, whose cost is really high. I'll sell it and make a lot of money. Oh, she, however, does not concur. He believes he is intoxicated. This must be what he is saying. He is making jokes with me, because Oshi was inebriated. We saw another man the same evening, who was the same man's buddy, who had captured the animal. He was at his residence. Then someone visits him at home. He now attempts to open the door. He notices a male. He appeared to be dangling from something. His hands were both raised when he goes ahead and sees. Then something pulls him in the sky. The man's wife was also there who was very scared seeing all this. She quickly closes the door of her house. She saw that creature who had pulled her husband towards her. Yes, he was a dangerous creature who was eating humans now. But how and from where did he come? We will know this by going ahead in the story. Now that woman was very scared in her house. She was hearing the screams of her husband. Her eyes go to the chimney of her house. She thinks by seeing this, that creature can also come from there. Before that she closes it, the creature also pulls her out of the chimney. They're the same man. Who had got the creature? He goes to his bathtub and sees. 
So from there that creature was missing. There was only one egg of his there. When he comes out to check, he sees a strange liquid in the room. That creature was stuck to the wall, whose big tentacles were there, which looked like an octopus. The creature attacks that man, but he removes him from his path and also kills him. He is shown to us in the morning. Elise asks the lady who works in the bar about Oshi, because now she started liking Oshi. She wanted to know, is she his wife or not? But that lady tells him that she is not his wife. He stays alone. After some time, that same man calls Oshi and Lisa, who had got the creature. That man had killed him and brought him to the lab. After the test, the doctor says, that I have never seen such a strange thing. It looks very dangerous. He gives the creature the name of Grabber. That doctor shows him that this Grabber has a very long tongue. This creature only drinks water and blood. He also shows them his egg. After knowing all this, now she was seeing the whale incident and the creature incident. He quickly takes Lisa to the shore, where the same man's car was standing, whom she had sent to pick up the dead whale. Oh, she thinks. He does not leave his car like this. There was a house nearby. Both of them go there to investigate. This was the same house, where last night the creature attacked and killed the husband and wife. When both of them investigate here, they find torn clothes there. Here too they were smelling the same, as if it was coming from that creature. Both of them had a doubt. They go to the roof of that house, where Lisa finds that man's beheaded head, whom the creature had picked up last night. Both of them had picked up his beheaded head and brought it to the lab, so that something could be found out about him. But the doctor says, I cannot tell anything like this. That who has killed him. But yes, I think this work is of some dangerous animal. And the same man comes there, who had caught the creature. He takes both of them to his house, where they see that man's bathtub had fallen outside, and there was a very big hole in the wall. Means the egg. That creature had left there. That too had turned into a big creature. After seeing that they had understood that there was going to be a big danger, they had understood everything how. Lisa says that the incident that happened last night, that this creature must have done, because they can only live in water, and it was raining last night. That's why he had come on the ground. And after coming, he killed the people of that house. Now that man, who had brought them with him, says that I know. Where is the coin of these creatures? which is giving eggs. He takes both of them to a cave, where he himself does not go. Now Lisa and Oshi both go inside. There they get the clothes of a man. These were the clothes of the same fisherman, which we had seen in the beginning of the story. Means at that time, on a boat of those fishermen, these creatures had also attacked, to find them there. Nothing else is found, but they wake up the creature. That creature was coming to attack them as soon as he woke up, but these two had come out quickly. That creature was still in a cave. He does not come out, because this creature could not come out in the sunlight. That's why these two now again go to the lab and try to find out the weakness of the Graber creature with which they can kill him. First they set it on fire, but suddenly water started coming, with which Graber was alive again, and he throws the same liquid on Oshi's face, sticks to his head, but somehow he takes it off his head. That man was also standing and seeing all this, who had brought him here. He also tells them, That Graber creature had attacked me like this. He had also bitten me. But that day I was drunk, and as soon as he bit me, became weak. This means that, the man who uses alcohol, this creature cannot harm him. Tonight a very strong storm was also going to come. That's why Oshi and Lisa make a plan together. They go to the barman and say, Look, all the people living on the island are in danger. The creature is going to attack them, but we can save them in one way. If people drink as much as possible, because whoever has alcohol in their blood, that creature will not harm them. But no one should know about this. Otherwise, people will get scared. That barman was also ready to support them. First test. They do it on Lisa. Uh, Lisa tells Oshi, I have never drunk alcohol, but still. They make her drink alcohol. Then they take out Lisa's blood and test it. They give her blood to the creature's child, whom they had imprisoned in a lab. As soon as that creature's child drinks blood, dies, they knew the weakness of the creature. Oh, she and Lisa go to the church. There all the people gather. 
They say to come to the bar. Free alcohol is going to be given. That's why everyone came to the bar. They had to hunt the creature at night, whatever they had. They make those things their weapon. Outside, Lisa and Oshi were sitting in the car. The rest were in the bar. And Lisa also drank a lot of alcohol. She was not in her senses. That's why she tells Oshi everything about her heart, how much she likes her. There everyone was lost in a bar. Then a man had to go to the washroom. But there was someone in the washroom. That's why he comes out. It was raining very hard outside. Then small creatures came there because of the water. They attacked that man. Seeing this, Lisa and Oshi go to save that man, before they could save him. There was also a big grabber creature there, which pulls that man and eats him. Seeing this, Lisa and Oshi save their lives and run away, when they both sit in their car. Then Lisa turns on the siren of a car in distress, because of which the creature was now behind them. He gets on their car. He was trying to break the car, but as soon as he sees the opportunity, he runs inside the bar quickly. As soon as he comes to the bar, the owner of the bar tells Oshi that all the alcohol is over. We have to go to another place to get it, where we can't go right now. That's why Oshi tells everyone to go up. Everyone was asking what happened. Why should we go up? But Oshi still doesn't tell anyone anything. No one knew what a big problem was outside. Here, the doctor who used to work in the lab, he had drunk a lot of alcohol. That's why he was not in his senses. He goes out and stands in front of the big grabber creature and tries to make a picture of him. But the creature grabs him and throws him away. Everyone in the bar knew about this big danger. Everyone saves their lives and runs up. But she makes everyone believe that they are safe. Nothing will happen to them. He also says that this creature hates alcohol. That's why he won't do anything to anyone. But here the biggest danger was Oshi herself. Because she didn't drink alcohol. That's why the creature was behind Oshi. Oh, she now decides to go down, because he couldn't put everyone's life in danger because of himself. But here Lisa tells him an idea, says that, look, this creature can't tolerate sunlight. That's why here, the construction site, I have seen the crane machine there. We will go there. We will hold this creature and stop it from that machine. And as soon as morning comes, this creature will be finished. And it takes two. Oh, she likes Lisa's idea. But Oshie's car keys were left downstairs. At least it acts and brings the keys. There were a lot of creature kids downstairs. At least they know she'd go to the same place. The creature was also behind them, because now he wanted to hunt Oshi. Oshi reaches the place and sees the petrol drum. He calls the creature to his side, so that as soon as it comes to him, he burns it. But that creature drops it from its tentacle. As soon as he was about to attack it, the Lisa's crane machine drops it. The creature was stuck there. Then she saves Oshi. There she opens a bottle of alcohol, so that she can enjoy a little. Then a creature's tentacle comes and grabs Oshi. He was about to eat her, but he had a bottle of alcohol in his hand, which he throws at that creature. That's why that creature leaves Oshi. Lisa runs on petrol tanks with a flare gun. As soon as the flare gun hits, there is a big blast there, in which that creature also died. Finally, they got rid of that big grabber creature. As soon as it was morning, Lisa and Oshi come back to their house. Both tell each other what is in their heart. They both met. But that very dangerous creature killed so many people. And with this, the movie of the grabber dangerous creature ends here.